Ukrainian and Russian officials will meet for talks at the Belarusian border. The talks, which are first included since Russian invasion of Ukraine began, will be held without preconditions. Welcome back to Next News Hour. If you're new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell. The office of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a statement on Sunday, We agreed that the Ukrainian delegation would meet with the Russian delegation without the preconditions on the Ukrainian-Belarusian border near the Pripyat River. No dates or times have been established for the meeting amidst the ongoing conflicts across Ukraine. Putin indicated that he was ready for talks as early as Friday, according to Kremlin, and Zelensky had initially resisted meeting in Belarus due to the country's pro-Moscow relationship and had stated in an address that he would prefer to meet at other locations such as Warsaw, Bratislava, Istanbul, Budapest or Baku. Zelensky emphasized any other city in the country from whose territory missiles don't fly would suit us. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett proposed in a phone call with Putin to act as a mediator between the two nations, according to a readout released by the Kremlin. Zelensky had proposed the idea to Bennett on Friday, reported the Times of Israel. Due to Israel's relationship with both nations, it is unclear if the assistance will be approved. U.S. officials are skeptical of Russia's intentions. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said at a Friday briefing, Now we see Moscow suggesting that diplomacy take place at the barrel of a gun, or as Moscow's rockets, mortars, artillery target the Ukrainian people. This is not real diplomacy. Those are not the conditions for real diplomacy. Price was responding to statements from the Kremlin claiming that Putin was ready for talks with Zelensky. The confirmed order of meeting to discuss peace arises shortly after Putin ordered his nuclear troops to begin preparing in a video address, implying the increased risk of nuclear weapon use. Well, we'd like to know your thoughts and responses. Share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.